an asteroid just hit Earth. Warning, a mega tsunami is coming. That is the title of a prophetic dream that one of my viewers, the name, their code name is Crafted Enderman. They are the one that had this dream. And I am going to tell you how his dream went. Okay? Here we go. I was riding along with Grandma and Grandpa. After school, they always come and pick me up. And I was in the car with them and my cousins. And, you know, we laugh, we talk. It's always fun when we all get together like that. And my phone started ringing. And I couldn't figure out now. You know how you're having fun, you don't want to be interrupted. Well, I picked up the phone and I said, hello. And it was mom. And mom sounded so alarmed. She hurried up and told me, a tsunami just hit Earth. And a mega, I mean, I mean an, um, not a, an asteroid, a giant asteroid just hit Earth. And a mega tsunami is on the way. So when you know, we immediately started looking because we were going up a little high, we were looking over the treetops and trying to see through the trees behind and around to see if we could see the tsunami. What was going on? We didn't feel any earthquake. We didn't feel anything shaking. It was just a normal, beautiful day. But we started looking and we started seeing. Let me tell you, that thing was so scary. That was a monster tsunami. That thing was so tall. You could see it coming through the clouds. It was that tall. I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I was clinging to my grandma and I said, is everything going to be all right, grandma? And grandma said, yes, you're going to be just fine. You're going to be safe. You'll be all right. And the next thing I knew, I could hear it. We could see it coming and I could hear it. It was crashing in. Oh, I was so scared. And then the next thing that happened, I felt myself floating around in the water. Then I woke up. Oh, I was so glad I woke up. Okay, that was Crafted Enderman's dream, his prophetic dream. Now listen to this, okay? You know, Pat has to put in her two cents. <laughs> we have to consider the fact that things, very strange, oh, sorry, very strange things are happening. And we don't realize there are things that are not being told to us by NASA and some of these other space stations or the whole space industry. They're not telling us what's really happening. And since there are so many strange things happening in the sky, strange things happening around the sun, if you have the right kind of filter, you could actually see an extra glow behind the sun, next to the sun, in front. I don't know. But I'm hoping that's not a giant asteroid coming because it looks like a whole planet. Okay, anyway. We need to pray, you guys. I know it seems like every time I tell one of these, I always say we need to pray. Church, Y'all, we all, the whole world's church, we need to get before God and intercede and ask him to repent of the pending dooms that are coming. It's not just one doom. There are other pending dooms that are coming. And we need to ask God for his mercy. His mercy, if for no other reason, 
for the amount of righteous people that are really in him, that God can somehow find another way to handle the offensive ones. Sometimes he's ready for a serious booty whooping. And of course, we don't want to get whooped with the bad ones, but that happens, doesn't it? So we have to ask God to stay his judgment. Hold it. Hold back on it. Please have mercy. Let mercy rise up in the face of judgment and say, no. Oh, that's what I mean when I say we need to pray, you guys. This stuff... There are too many people having these dreams. Way too many. And it's not mass hysteria. If it was mass hysteria, the roads would be full and people would be taken off to the mountains. These people are getting these dreams for a reason. You know God warns a lot before he brings on the fire and brimstone. So... Let's take heed, you guys. Let's pray. Pray hard. And really, really entreat God's heart to have mercy. Amen. And for those of you who don't know the Lord, don't you think it's time? I don't care what your doubts are, what your questions are. Don't you think it's kind of about time? You haven't found an answer yet, now have you? So why not try God. What have you to lose? Okay. God bless you.